Hey, this is Eileen Fernandez Parker, Cultivating the Learning. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use formulas to track mileage, either for your small business or for teachers in your school district. Um, this is set up to have date, customer, location, mileage one way, and then we're going to figure out how much it is round trip, and then we're going to tell the computer to keep a running total of the total mileage in case we need to have some kind of a reimbursement. So if the mileage is one way here is 10, then the round trip is going to be double that. So all we have to do is click on this cell in E2. We always have to start with the equal sign to tell the computer that it is going to do calculations. And then we're going to click on the cell that we want it to take the number from. And then we're just going to hit the times two to add to it. We don't have to have parentheses or anything, and we're going to hit enter. I'm going to do that again for the second person. We always start out with equals. I'm going to hit this cell and then times two and hit enter. The reason that I want to click on this cell is because when I copy this formula down, the computer is automatically going to add, instead of doing D3, it's going to add one more number to it. So it'll be D4 when I drag it down. So I'm just going to drag down from the bottom right hand corner. And if I double click on this, you can see now it actually highlights the cell so I can see that E4 switched to D4 to D5 to D6, etc. So that's why I click on the cell. Now, having a running total is a little bit um, more complex. The first thing I need to do is insert a row here because I need to start with a zero. I need to have a starting point. I could I could play with a formula and, and do two, but for our purposes, I'm just going to make it simple. So I'm going to have a zero there. So for the running total, I want to always add the next number to the subtotal before. So in this formula, I'm going to start with the equal sign. And then I'm going to use the cell above. So I want to start with the zero. And then I'm going to add the round trip for the first trip. So I have zero plus 20 or F2 plus E3. And I have this number. So this one should be equals the number before plus the next mileage equals. And then I don't have to keep doing them manually. Once I have the formula correct, all I have to do is copy down to get my final formula. So I need you to try that on your spreadsheet. And if you found this helpful, click the thumbs up in the video below the video.